Hi, class. Um, today, I w it's going to be a little bit different. There will be a read aloud, um, but I first wanted to start off with a quick lesson and kind of a question um, that's been, I've been thinking about a lot at these times. Um, one of the questions I've been thinking about was earlier on from yesterday, um, why do people choose to help one another? Um, and then from there, I read uh, Sarifra's bowl, and that gave a lot of information about uh, why somebody would choose to help another person. Maybe they chose to help another person because they saw that person, they were starving and they needed someone's help. And they were willing to give that help because they needed a basic necessity of life. So that's one reason why somebody might help. There's other things that we might um, try and help others with. Something that goes along with that and is connected is the idea of activism. What is activism? As you can see is my essential question. You can see if you break this down, it says active. You're being active with something. When you think of active, maybe you think of movement. Maybe you think of riding your bike or doing physical activities. Being active, you can also be active within society and the world around you. What I mean by that is activism is you are bringing action. You're bringing action uh, to bring action about political, social, educational, or environmental change. So basically activism is through your own actions, you are bringing change to something in our world. That could be social. When I say social, that means in between uh, people. It could be educational, like uh, something to change within the school system. It could be environmental. That means how we are treating the earth surrounding us. That could include you are being active in uh, recycling, or maybe you're being active in riding your bike and walking instead of using cars. So that would be a way that you are changing. You are changing your actions in a specific way. So that could be political, social, ed educational. You're trying to impact something. So through changing our actions, we can impact the education around us. We can also impact how others deal with us socially. Um, I wanted to bring up some really important people and groups and examples of activism. So an example of activism, when I think of activism, one of the first things I always think of is the civil rights movement. And in the civil rights movement, MLK, Rosa Parks, Ruby, Ruby Bridges, and a lot of other people were fighting for the equality of uh, African Americans in the United States. So that's why I wrote civil rights. They were fighting, they were taking action to change something. They were taking action to change how, uh, they, how people treated them socially. They were also taking action with education. They wanted to be in, uh, they wanted to have white and African Americans in the same school. And um, so, another person, example of um, activism was Malala. Malala is who we read about like two weeks ago. Malala was very active in the um, education in her country. She, so when the Taliban took over her country, when somebody else took over her country, she was, as a woman, she was not allowed to go to school. But because she took action and she started blogging and started getting the information out, um, it started to change and a policy created that change. She made a political change and an educational change because the policy said that, oh, girls can go to school now to, till uh, they're 18. Someone else who created change was Wangari Mathai. That's who we are learning about um, about two weeks ago as well when we were talking about Earth Day. Wangari Mathai, uh, what did she create change with? She created environmental change. She helped plant a lot of trees in Kenya and she taught women how to um, plant trees. And she also taught different tribes how to farm and plant their own trees.
So she was making an environmental change through her actions, she was making change. So what we're gonna be looking at today is we're gonna think, we're gonna read something today. And while I'm reading it, you are going to think about activism, but you're also gonna think about technology and how activism and technology interact with one another. So my question is, how does internet help students with activism? Because uh, if you're watching this video right now, you have internet, you have Wi-Fi. So how can you, with your internet, help to be an activist? Well, we're gonna learn about that a little bit today. Another question is, how do the stories uh, that we're gonna hear today, how do they make you feel and why? So these questions are going to be on the exit ticket. So make sure you are reflecting on these questions as I am reading. The really important one that I want us to think about is how can we use internet as a way uh, to be activists? So I'm gonna share my screen real quick so you guys can see the reading for today. Okay, let me make me a little bit bigger. There we go. So I'm gonna be reading from Teaching Tolerance. It's a great organization that um, helps teachers figure out how we can best teach others to become accepted. Taking action online. Here are some ways that young people like you have used the internet to organize social action. And the Boston walkout. Hmm. In the spring of 2016, more than 2,000 students in Boston staged a walkout. That means they left their classes and marched together through downtown Boston. Why? Because they are protesting the budget cut. What does that mean, Ms. Merton? Oh, a budget cut means that they are cutting uh, money. They're not giving as much money to schools. So the, this budget cut was happening in the school system. These students knew that the budget cuts would mean fewer art classes, fewer sports activities, and less transportation to and from school. So that's a lot of things that are being impacted by these budget cuts. What does this have to do with the internet? Well, the organizers of this walkout, they use Twitter, a social networking site with many users, to promote their march with the hashtag, hashtag BPS walkout. They managed to quickly group people together to join their protests. So that, that's an, if you think back to my question, that's one of the ways that you can use internet and um, so, social networking. So you can social network through certain um, sites such as Twitter to get people to follow your cause. So they got people to follow their cause by creating a hashtag. That's one way. Let's see what else, uh, how else internet can help us spread our activism and what are they fighting, what are they trying to change? So in this part, they were trying to change um, the education uh, budget cuts. In 2015, a high school student in South California decided that their school needed to have gender neutral bathrooms. What does that mean? Well, it tells you right after. Or bathrooms that anyone could use regardless of their gender identity. So whether they identified as male or female, they could um, use that bathroom. That student created a petition and used the internet to circulate it. Nearly 30,000 people signed the petition and it even got attention from online news sites. As a result of the petition, that school and many others were quick to install gender neutral bathrooms. If you think about it, um, a gender neutral bathroom is just kind of like the bathroom in your house. You don't say it's female or a male, or a male can go in that bathroom. That's what I think of when I think of a gender neutral bathroom. Um, it's interesting how she was able to fight for this right, fight for, or they were able to fight for this cause. Um, so they were fighting through this, for this cause. They're trying to make change in their school by creating a petition for people to sign. So in the petition, it probably said, um, can we have, or I think we should have, it tells the reasons why that student wanted a gender neutral bathroom. And then she got other people to sign to say that they were following her cause. Let's see the last instance in which internet or uh, technology was used to spread a, um, a change. 
young people around the world have used internet activism to raise awareness, generate interest, and organize a protest. So we've talked about protest in the past. Um, as you remember in the first one, there was a protest. They all walked out of school in their protest. I wonder how um, they were able to use internet to protest for this one. In 2014, a movement started in Nigeria to demand the return of female students who were kidnapped from their school, school by a group named Boko Haram. Because of the use of Twitter, blogs, and Facebook, global activists like Malala Yousafzai, we know her, we learned about her a couple of weeks ago, a Nobel Prize winner, and Michelle Obama, our former First Lady of the United States, they got involved in this cause. And people in different countries became more aware of and connected with what was happening in Nigeria. So you can answer that question, how does internet help students or, uh, with activism? So because of internet, with that last case, what was the impact? I'd like you to think about it for a second. The impact I see is that with internet, um, knowledge can be spread of what is happening around the country and around it, the world in different countries. So because of the internet, because of social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook and blogs, other people became more aware of what was happening in Nigeria. So that's really important for us to be culturally aware. That means know what is happening in other cultures. Um, and about the current events. So that's how uh, internet and technology can help with activism, with change, when you wanna see something change. What we're gonna be working on uh, tomorrow is talking about the pros and the cons or the strengths and the weaknesses of using technology for um, activism and creating change. So, uh, See you guys tomorrow. Make sure that you um, go on the exit ticket and you fill out the exit ticket. Uh, thank you for listening to today's read aloud. Uh, remember, uh, as you go on to the exit ticket, how important technology is and what a big change technology can cause in our, um, our nation. Thanks, guys. Uh, have a good, good day. <laughs> Bye.